Well, folks, it's the end of the coin collecting world as we know it, and I feel fine. Of course, this is a fun little object here, and uh, I've got this box here, and uh, we're gonna see how this works here. For those of you who like SMR, DSMR, DSM-4, all of the SMRs. Anyway, some of you will know what I'm talking about, but the rest of you probably not. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make some, some groovy sounds here that will hopefully, that's all the way through, okay. Hopefully get us in here, lickety split. And we're gonna take the very first look at, oof da. Let's take a look and see what we can see now. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit as I crash everything here. This is the uh, new vault box. We went ahead and bought these uh, for, what is this, posterity? Not for prosperity. This is basically a, a great way to lose money gambling. But uh, I went ahead and got the two box limit. I'm not smart enough how to open a box. Gravity wins again. Let's take a look at these things here. Uh, the engineer also got two boxes, and we'll see. You guys can wager bets on who wins. So what's cool is they've got uh, these little notes on the side valued at different prices. I like the fact that the graphic on the side shows one like it's bigger than the others because the coin is bigger. But, of course, these are all should be all the same size. And uh, Series 1, 2003. So this is set up to look basically just like you would see for someone who is opening up, um, opening up like a pack of baseball cards. Of course, you can go ahead and scan. They've got a whole huge movement here. Look at this, uh, the QR code to find out where your coins are worth. Um, tag us on your social media for your uh, unboxing. I'm, I don't know how to do that. Sorry, guys. You snooze, you lose. Oh, look, there's fine print too. Guarantees that all purchases, purchasers will receive authentic, graded, limited, blah, blah, blah. Guarantees they'll buy back, blah, blah, blah. Buy back bids will be available on their website. Subject to market fluctuations. Uh, full terms and conditions on their website. Um, interesting. Twitter tweet retweet. And the Twitter bird logo or trademarks of Twitter. Okay, good to know. I guess their lawyers wanted them to include that. Values are estimates uh, on the series and uh, vault, box guarantee, vault Box guarantees that they will provide offers on all coins bearing the limited edition Vault Box labels. Offer bid subject to market change. All right, so, and there's two of these. Of course, the boxes are identical. And we just got to wait for the other two to come in from uh, the engineer. And we're going to tag them. You guys can wager who gets the better stuff here, of course. They actually they show the red core ones, which are the expensive coins. There's actually, um, I think the cores are not mostly red. I think the cores are mostly mostly silver eagles. So these boxes, you can see, hold, uh, looks like they're going to be like an NGC-style box with their certificate uh, on it, un unbroken seal here, NGCX. There we go, NGCX. And uh, as soon as those other two boxes go in, we can continue with this video. As a reminder, you know, they have a list of all the different coins that are in the different vault boxes. And it has their, if they're common or rare, you got different gold pieces and et cetera, et cetera all the way down uh, and then they have them at their estimated estimated values so anyway there's a whole list that's out there from their website that you can look at so i went ahead and i've got labels on uh, the ones for the coin geek have just this coin geek cg on there the other ones are not the other ones are for the engineer i'll open uh, one of mine and one of his and oh these numbers here by the way check this out so I went ahead and weighed the boxes uh, as is for now. 
So I've got, and they were similar, right? So there's uh, both in the three, uh, 332, 334 range on one box for each of us. Whoop, that one's his. And then uh, the other one's 310 and 311. So I'm going to guess, you know, we're going to have um, with 20 grams difference. I'm going to guess that each of us got a, uh, a tenth of an ounce in one of the boxes and silver eagles in the other boxes. That's going to be my guess. Now, I'll start here. Um, well, I'll start with the heavier one. Let's do that because my guess was that it's going to be a tenth. So uh, we'll see if I'm right or wrong. Also, they've got this groovy baby, you know, party going on on the sides here. And I've got my setup different, so I'm doing this wrong here. NGC tape, which is pretty cool stuff. And we're going to go ahead and uh, get through that and break on through to the other side. And uh, I'm going to just scratch all of the plastic trying to do this. Let's see if I can actually follow a, a basic seam instead of scratching the plastic. You know, I don't know about resale value, but I'm pretty sure I, I'm wrecking it all. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay. First up, uh, the common core box one. First look at the, uh, we got a black core label. Now, a lot of people, like I said, this is like just gambling, right? But you'll see they've got their special vault box labels on stuff. Uh, so here we've got a 2014 Silver Eagle, and it is a 10. So um, if you take everything at face value for what people are, uh, the people who are putting this together are saying, you know, they really are trying to create a new way to collect coins. Uh, and, um, you know, if, for those of you who have watched a lot of my videos, you understand that I'm actually not opposed to redoing this especially on modern coins like I, I think going to a going to a 10 point scale on modern coins would be fine I'll, it's also an area where I think that uh, AI would be okay and they have this QR code here which uh, how does this thing work ready Let me get the QR code and the QR code where's my QR code at Oh, there we go. We're opening up the vault box with the QR code here to see what happens next. See, the nice thing is with technology, nothing happens. Okay, so it took me to the website and I thought it was gonna tell me about the coin that I have here, um, but it is not telling me about the coin that I have here. It just took me to their website. Well, that didn't work how I thought it was going to. Um, so instead, uh, you know, I'm going to look at uh, Coin Lookup Instant Offer and see what happens next. How to look up a coin, cert number, grade. Oh, heavens. I got to work? Well, probably, probably not. I mean, if I uh, if I just scan that number, it'll pop up. But instead, I'm doing it manually. We can zip through this part. Okay, find my coin. Let's see what happens here. There it is. Mint state ten. Series one, series release date. Um, that's an interesting number. Series release date. Common nine 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 silver one troy ounce mint state. I'm looking for it to make me a uh, oh login or register to see an instant offer. Boo! Let's see what else is in here. Oh okay. So we've got uh, a proof, 2004 proof Silver Eagle and uh, series one 9.9. So, you know, the transition from the old scale to the new scale 
uh, on these is, of course, the um, this is supposed to be a 69. Anything that's just like one point shy of perfect. And of course, now that I know the QR codes are all the same, they're just going to take me back to the Vault Box website on those. And also uh, an 07 W in a proof 10 uh, Ultra Cameo. It also says Ultra Cameo on there on that little label. You know, they've got uh, a Vault handle for the Vault Box on their label on those guys all right so three silver eagles which is kind of what i thought we would see on that let's go ahead and do the heavy box for the engineer We shall see what we shall see here. And we've got a 2015 and a Mint State 9.9 .9 Silver Eagle. So the, the cynic in me is going to come out right now and say, you know, these are these are randomized, right? So 2004 uh, in a Mint State 10. You know, but uh, we've got two different boxes shipped to two different people here, and in my 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 thought process was that we're going to see three silver eagles in both boxes, and then the other box will have two silver eagles and a tenth ounce gold. That's my 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 guess. And an O5W and a proof ten. Well, you know, so similar. I think we're kind of similar on the scoreboard, although uh, you know he's got a couple of tens and a nine point nine. He's got one proof, and I had two proofs, so I'm guessing the proofs are going to go ahead and, and lead the way on these guys. Uh, next up, I'm going to go with my box. That was the lighter box, and we'll see what's inside of here. I could probably peel off the plastic instead of you know cutting it, but... You know, my poor razor doesn't get enough action here. Okay. Let's go ahead and see here. We've got a uh, Silver Eagle 2003 and a 9.9. .9. Just a reminder that these are these are $595 a box. You know, on Unk Silver Eagles, you can pick up in the marketplace for $40 to $75 for common dates. Proofs are usually 75 to 100 and something on those. Uh, and here we got a 2018. Also with the black core, also uh, 2018W, a 9.9. .9. So back to the idea that uh, people are going to just, are actually going to want to collect these, people who collect labels and series. Uh, you know, they may try to mix and match. So they may pay a little bit of a premium on those. All right, and here we do have the one tenth ounce. That was my guess on these. One tenth ounce. This is the 2020 in a 10 holder. So something that's a little bit extra there, but undoubtedly uh, there's not, of course, by, by how do I say this? By traditional standards, there's not $1,200 here, of course. Uh, but like I've said before, this is uh, partially a gambler's addiction, but for, for, for people on the secondary market, there may be people who want to collect these by series on the 10 point scale. Um, I, I still think that, that, uh, as we go through time, you know, five or 10 years down the road, uh, it may be more common just to see us doing a, um, doing 10 point scales on modern coins. And I don't really have a problem with that, but this is why you don't pull the tape off. Ooh, look at that. The residue is shiny. Yeah. Okay, here's the engineer's last box. Let's see if all of our pulls, as I believe they say, are uh, with the black common core.
uh, 92, so we got a little earlier Silver Eagle uh, out of this one. 92, still black core, and that's going to be a 9.9 .9 on a 92. And so one of the things that this does do, because I know some, you know, there's people who collect labels, uh, it does create, uh, it does create a new collector era area for people who just want these and they want to collect nothing but tens and these holders they're going to be searching for them so maybe they trade at some premium over uh you know just what a generic would here's a proof silver eagle uh 9.9 .9 on the richter scale and we've got a 10th ounce this is a 2002 not a 2020 well, I'm jumping around here. Sorry about that. 2002 in a 9.9 .9 holder. So win, lose, or draw. I think that uh, both boxes, all the the collectively two box groups are very similar uh, in their overall content. And uh, that's it. That's kind of what's happening. Uh, hopefully, it deflates you enough to where you're not buying all these. But I, you know, anyways. I, I, I kind of somewhat kid about some of this stuff, but really, um, you know, it, it there's a part of this that to me is just creating a new collector market, which I like, and there's a part of this which is just appeals to gambling, which is really not my not my favorite motif. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the owl button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.